How was your weekend, Mike? Mine was great. So I went up to Michigan. Michigan? Something we, something we do every year. Little place, uh, Muskegon. <clears throat> and uh, this time there was, my uncle could only rent one cabin, so we had to stay part way on the other side of the lake. And uh, I'd never stayed there before. It's called a, the shack. And they don't really party much there. I found out in the morning why. But when we came in at like midnight, there's a sign there that says, uh, quiet time, 1030, lights out 11. I'm not shitting you. <laughs> My brother and I had to like sneak whiskey in so we could have a nightcap and just hang out and quiet, you know, be, be quiet though. You have to quietly drink your last drink. And so anyway, um, we wake up the next day, they have breakfast at 815. And it was usually pretty good. And then you come downstairs and there's like 50 Amish people there, Hutterites. I don't know what, what they were, but. Sodomites? I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know the whole, whatever. The like tights? They all, they look, they, look, they, <laughs> I had to yell at one of them to tell his, you know, his wife's ankles to, to slow stop. down in that <laughs> horse and buggy. Yeah, no. Just, slow you know, down. Tell your wife's, Jeez. tell your wife's ankles to stop staring at me. So, and then they, all the dudes had the same haircut, you know, the boys to the men, she they all had the same haircut. Suspenders, you know, the beard, no mustache. You know what I'm talking about. The women, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. but the breakfast was good. <laughs> the people were nice. It's just, there's no smoking anywhere on the premises of this land that this sits it's on. A, but It's a good thing they don't have the ability to watch this podcast because they would have dropped us. Free banana splits at 8.30 at night. Ooh. Hey, it wasn't a it wasn't a bad I'm deal. I'm sold. I'm there. But I am there. But yeah, I was just <laughs> I'd probably, if we would have stayed back at the cabin, we would have partied until like 4 in the morning with my cousins. So, anyway. That was uh, one highlight of that trip. And then, um, Gosh, it was it was a fun trip all around. I can get into other details, but I don't need to bore you with all of them, you know, from the rental car to everything else. So, um, <laughs> that was one thing too. They give us a forerunner as a rental car, and you get in, the seats are leaned back. It smells like freaking pot in there. But like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pot and foo foo juice, if you know what I mean, like per men's cologne or whatever. And it's like, all right, there, someone partying in the thing all night. This thing felt very clunky. It was a 2021 Forerunner. My brother's like, before I switch the odometer, let me take a guess at how many miles on it. I'm betting 40,000. And it was like 40,800 and something. It was almost dead nuts on. But the thing drove like it had 300,000 miles on it because clearly somebody's been off-roading in this thing. Did you request an SUV? I'm just curious because I'm wondering... If now people are going for compacts because of the price of gas. Yeah. Uh, no, we did not request an SUV, but you know, once you get to the lake where we're staying, it's like a half mile drive to the shack where my brother and I and my dad and uncle were staying. And uh, so that's pretty much all the driving we did. We went into downtown a couple times, downtown Fremont, Michigan, if you will. Um, But yeah, it was, it was a fun trip all in all. We got, Got to drink our share and smoke cigars and yeah, had plenty of fun. 